Hi guys, it's Just Guy here, and I'm back with a new video. And as I'm recording this, Halloween is only a few days away. So in honor of it being so close to Halloween, I thought, why not do another horror movie haul? So this year, it's going to be similar to last year, and it's going to be a collective haul. So I'm going to show you horror movies that I bought throughout the whole year. And this month alone, I bought 15 horror movies, which is a record for me. I've never bought 15 horror movies in like one month, in the month of October. I usually buy like around probably about 5 to 10 horror movies in this month, but October is the best month to buy horror movies. They're just so good. Good prices. Anyways, I've categorized all these movies to make it a little bit easier to go through, so let's get to it. Alright, so before we get started, I'd like to say that I'm going to tell you guys where I got these movies from and how much I paid for them, just in case you guys are interested to know. So the first few movies that I have, I got six of them I'm going to show you, and these ones I've categorized in obscure slash you may have not heard of them or seen them. So the first movie I have in this category is called Ka. Now this one is a sci-fi channel original movie. That's why I put it under this list because you may have not heard or seen of it or heard or seen it. I didn't actually know about this movie until I bought it at um at the bargain bin. As you can see it was a 3 for 10 deal but I think I just bought this one at the time. So this movie stars uh, Sheen Patrick Flanny or Sean Patrick Flanny if you got to say his name uh, from the Boondocksy. He was in that movie, and this movie goes along the lines of Birds by Alfred Hitchcock. So I actually haven't seen this one, but it does look really good. So, and I like that it says objects are closer and more terrifying than they appear. Interesting. Alright, so the second movie I'm going to show you is a Stephen King movie, and you're probably wondering, why is a Stephen King movie in this category? Well, it's an independent film, and it had a limited release, so it didn't go to very many theaters. And it is a very, and it's a DVD that is very hard to find. When I saw it, I said I had to get it. I didn't think I was going to see it again. And I got it in California, actually, in um, San Diego at a record store. So, yeah, it was a record store that has a bunch of DVDs. So, and it is called Riding the Bullet. So, this one is based off of his short story but of the same name and um it is a really really good movie and the story is really good it was originally released only for e-readers and that's where I actually read this on my e-reader and then I found out about the movie and I'm like oh cool and I didn't think I was actually ever going to find it but I got it for $3.99 as you can see there and here so this is a really good one it's basically kind of about this um college student and he gets a call from a family friend saying that his mom is sick and so he decides to hitchhike all the way uh, back home and he's done it before this is not the first time and it's just kind of about his adventure and kind of the people he rides with he gets a ride with and in specifically this one specific person so as you can see it says that the dead travel fast so it's really good, and um, it stars David Arquette is in this movie. So yeah, really good find. Check it out. Rotten Tomatoes doesn't put it as a good rating, but I still say you should at least check it out. Alright, so the next one I have is another American one, and this one is called Slither. So this one I actually haven't seen, and... But it does look really good. It looks kind of more of the lines of like a horror comedy. But it looks more horrorish. But it does have some humor in it. And it does star. Um, if I can find it here. Oh. But, and this movie does star Nathan Fillion from Firefly. Or more recently Castle. So interesting to note. Um, I don't know too much about it, but it does look pretty good. Alright, so the last three movies in this category are foreign movies, and they are Korean movies. All three of them. So, the first one I got at a used DVD shop here at the same place I got this one. And I got it for 6 dollars 
And it is one awesome movie. And all I got to say is watch it. And it is called I Saw the Devil. This is a really, really, really good movie. Highly, highly recommend it. It has a really good rating, I believe, on Rotten Tomatoes. I haven't actually checked it out, but it is so good. Okay, so this one is Korean, so it is subtitled, but uh, you can watch it in dubbed. I would not recommend it. Dubbed is only for anime, okay? People dubbed anime live action should not be dubbed. It should be subbed. All right, so this one is about... Um, the serial killer guy who goes around killing people, he really doesn't have a reason why he does it. I think he does it for fun. But his latest victim happens to be this young girl who father is the chief cop in town and her fiancé is a special agent uh, detective. And so her fiancé decides to kind of go on this rampage, kind of go on, on this revenge and he to get back at this guy and he does it um, no matter what, so even if he becomes a monster himself along the way, it doesn't matter. So, really, check this movie out. It's a really, really good movie. Highly recommend it. And I put it under more kind of you may have not seen, slash, you know, obscure. It's kind of popular in Korea, in South Korea, but here, not a lot of people may have heard of it. And it was on my list to get. And I saw it, and I had to get it. Alright, so the next one is more of a popular one, but you may have not heard or seen it. And that is called Oh Boy. So I actually got this one at Walmart. Surprisingly, I didn't think I'd actually ever see this at Walmart or any like Korean movie at Walmart. Walmart does occasionally have some other foreign films, but I've never seen a Korean one. Anyway, so this is Old Boy, and I actually haven't gotten a chance to see it, as you can see, it's still in the packaging. Basically, this one is pretty popular in South Korea, and it came out in 2003, and this one is about a guy who's married, he has a kid, and he goes on and in the town, you know, and he gets drunk, and he gets abducted, and put in a secret prison, and for 15 years, not told why he was put in there, or who put him in there, then 15 years later, he's released, given new clothes, um, a cell phone, and five days to figure out why he was put in there and who put him in there. So you can kind of guess what's going to happen next. <laughs> He's been there for 15 years. So yeah. Looks really good. And yeah. So the last Korean one I have in the last movie of this category is called Thirst. So this one is actually by the creators of Old Boy. Actually, it's by the director of Old Boy. And this one is a vampire one, and it's kind of more on the, like, chilling erotic style. I actually haven't watched it yet, but that's what it says on the back here. So that's what the back looks like. And this one is about a priest who, um, gets a blood transfusion that saves his life, but it transforms him into a vampire. So, it looks really good. And, yeah, it looks like it, uh, won a... Film festival or won a prize at a film festival. So that's it for this category. So let's get on to the next category. All right. So these are the next set of movies, and I have one, two, three, four, five. So I have five of them, and these ones I put under the category of more psychological horror. These ones are you don't have somebody coming after you. You have you know demons. You've got um you got ghosts, all that kind of stuff. So this this was what these ones deal with. So the first one I, I'm going to show you, I actually just saw this on Saturday and I'm probably going to do a movie review of it and that is The Conjuring. So I saw this with my friend, um, one of my friends and this is awesome. So this is based on an actual true story. It's based on the um, true case files of the Warrens and in Lorraine Warren who were um, paranormal investigators in the 70s I believe. Lorraine actually still does it and from what I know Ed he died in 2006. Anyway so this is about specifically one family and the house that they live in and the spirits that um are in that house and specifically one spirit in general that has latched itself onto the family and yeah so it's about the family and how Ed and Lorraine Warren 
come in and try and help them out. So it is highly recommended if you go on Rotten Tomatoes. This movie has an 87% rating. And if you get a chance, watch this movie. This one came out this summer in theaters. And it just came out on DVD last week. And I'm like, I had to buy it. And I had a friend that watched it a while back. And she told me, make sure you watch it during the day. I'm like, why is it scary? She's like... Well, sort of, but it'll make you think. And this movie does make you think after. You're just like, ah. And I put this on, like, my top ten favorite horror movies of all time. This is up there, so, yeah. Alright, so the next one I'm about to show you, I actually haven't watched it yet, surprisingly, and I finally bought it. And that is Insidious. I'm one of those people that actually hasn't watched Insidious, and yet I'm a horror movie fan. Okay? I never got around to watching it. Um, cause I actually don't know a lot of people that like to watch horror movies, but I do watch them. But I just never had the need to really see this one. So I got it for five bucks at Walmart, and, um, there's not really much I can really say about it, because you guys probably know what this movie is about, but just on the back here it says, The scariest movie in decades, unforgettable, and a new horror classic. Yeah. Alright, so the next one is another newer one, and this one, I believe, came out in theaters, like, in January, February, and that is Mama. And I got this at Walmart for $9, and I really wanted to see this one when it came out. It was so good. I love Jessica Chastain. She does a really good job. And, yeah, and it's like, a mother's love is forever. This one is about a bunch of two girls, actually, who, um are found in the woods in this, like, little cabin, and they get, uh, placed with their, um, with their uncle and his girlfriend, and kind of what happens, and that maybe they really weren't alone in that cabin in the woods. Maybe there was somebody there, because how could they survive all those years? So, I haven't got a chance to see it, but it looks really, really good. Alright, so the next one is kind of sort of a classic one. It's a sequel to my favorite horror movie of all time. And that is The Exorcist. So I got The Exorcist 2. If you didn't know, there's actually five Exorcist movies. Yes, five. There are five sequels. They made Exorcist and they made Exorcist 2, 3, 4. And then I think the fifth one is called The Beginning. So this one is called The Exorcist to the Heretic or whatever. So it does have Linda Blair in it and it's supposed to be a few years um, later. It says here four years. So she plays Reagan. So four years later and it kind of happens again. So yeah. I've heard this one is supposed to be pretty good. So don't know about the other sequels. I do know that. I know that the last two weren't that great. I don't know about number three. Anyways, so the last one of this category is Devil. So this is the first in The Night Chronicles, if you don't know. This is actually the only one in The Night Chronicles. It's supposed to be a trilogy, but they haven't released the other ones yet. I believe they are working on the second one. And so this one is called Devil, and this one is about a bunch of people, and I've actually seen this one, so I do highly recommend it. This one came out in theaters about a few years ago, so this one is about a bunch of people who are take a ride on the elevator, and it stops. And lots of things happen inside, and it is believed that one of them might be the devil. Really highly recommended. You don't expect who it is, and it's really, really good. Watch it or buy it. I bought this one at the thumb links for three ninety nine. All right, so that's it for the psychological horror. All right, so that's the end of part one of this video. I decided to make it in two parts because I didn't want to make it really long. I didn't want to do like a 20 minute video. And I wasn't sure if I could upload a 20 minute video because I used to only be able to upload like 15 minutes. I don't know if YouTube's changed that. But anyway, so go check out part two. I'll put the link down below and I'll also put the link right here. 
So right here, check out part two right here of this video if you want to see the rest of it. Check it out!